Bushiri was one of the few Malawians to enter Maula prison with a smile, taking Jesus behind bars, bringing hope to the captives, setting them free. visited various other drought-stricken areas in Malawi, Prophet Shepherd Bushiri remembered that each of us needs a word of encouragement from our own personal prisons, be they physical, spiritual, or mental manifestations of bondage. Jesus came that we, different captives of diverse prisons, might be set free. Beacon of Hope has to date distributed tons of maize in various parts of Malawi in response to harsh climate changes resulting in floods and droughts and terrible harvests. Prophet Shepherd Bushiri responded to this dire need as part of his ministry and indeed social responsibility. Let us witness as the Holy Spirit brings joy and warmth to those incarcerated, bringing hope and deliverance in Maula Prison, Malawi. Sangara <laughs> Having fed and freed the flock with the spirit of freedom everywhere, maize was handed to the prison authorities amidst shouts of joy and jubilation as the prophet and prophetess declared blessings and grace over the congregation.
Although the physical gates and boundaries were still a tough reality, it was obvious that members of Maula ECG in particular and those who had just received Christ were no longer bound and no jailhouse could contain their joy. Healing and deliverance took place. Broken lives were edified. The distant life of miracles that the prisoners saw on prophetic channel became a tangible reality to everyone on that historical day, the day that Major One took the battle behind enemy lines. Inmates, relatives, prison officials and government representatives of the Malawi government expressed heartfelt gratitude and the Prophet Shepherd Bushiri signed the visitor's book with his signature, as if to say, it is done. Beacon of Hope continues to distribute maize throughout the region where floods, drought and hunger have ravaged the people. It is bringing the message of hope, the bread of life, and sharing Jesus and relieving poverty so that all who see this can only acknowledge that this can only be inspired by God. This can only be God. Indeed, He is still speaking today.